Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and this episode of Travels with Phil, we are going from San Diego, which is my home base, up into Utah. And not too far from Bluff, Utah, you're going to see here, well, this is Comb Ridge. And we're going to Monarch Cave, which is on Comb Ridge. It's part of the Bears Ear National Monument, the Sashja Unit. I'm probably mispronouncing that one, as I often do. Now, this is Comb Ridge in the foreground. That's Butler Wash in the back. And these are sort of reefs which uh, built up over time and formed natural obstacles. But they also made other things. This is Combs Ridge. <coughs> Excuse me. And it does look quite as dramatic from here. But it is a long and steep incline up there. And literally, they just blasted an enormous hole through about the top half of this ridge so they can get the road through there. So you can come up from the north or south. This is Lower Butler Wash Road. And the X you see over there is the spot where I took the video just a moment ago. Now this is what it looks like driving up Lower Butler Wash Road. And you can see some of the uh, cliffs or bluffs over on the right hand side. On the left hand side it tapers up and you'll often see some growth. When you get to the area, this is the kind of signs you see. And this is the start of the trail. As you're heading on the trail going over to Monarch Cave. Now it's not really well marked. There's a few little signs out there. Sometimes it may be a little bit wet as you walk your way through. But eventually, there you go. This is what you get to. And this is Monarch Cave. And you can see the structures out here. And it's the end of an arroyo. And now this is the old dwellings that are there. Ages vary from around a thousand years ago. And this is what it looks like in the uh, valley floor coming up to it. Now there's water down there right now. But this is what it looks like now. You can see some variation in the designs. Now these are some old pictures. So this place has remained pretty much the same for quite some time. In fact, it's almost Four exactly the eighth the same. Monarch Cave Ruins. This is also in Butler Wash. And uh, this is a big one. This is the biggest one I've seen so far. And uh, very impressive in the size of it. Look how close it is to the uh, drop off. And there's a, there's a sink down there that's supposedly uh, has water in it just about year round. There's a lot of faded petroglyphs as you come around. There's spots here. Show you some handprints. There you go. That's the far wall. Found some back a, a ways. Sorry for the rapid movement here. You actually see those holes up there? That's what they use to climb up there to paint up on the upper levels of the wall. I'll show you more of that a little later on. All right, this is maybe 10 feet over in part of the alcove. Sort of oranges and reds. More here. One of the most common questions people ask is, how did they get up on these walls to paint these pictures? Well, I'm going to show you. Right there's a spot in the wall that's been poked out. Another one there. And then there. One right in there. And then there. And then there's a drawing right up above it. And then there's hands right there. Now there could have been something in here that came down. But you can tell, especially in these bigger holes, all the pecking that went on with rocks to make that hole. All right, these are some of the pottery shards that people have found, and they just stack them up. This right here is what they call the coil method. You roll up like into a snake shape, clay. Discovering pot shards and other artifacts in their original setting is a unique experience on Cedar Mesa. Please leave all artifacts right where you find them. If each visitor took just one souvenir home, soon there would be no artifacts left. 
Avoid placing artifacts on rocks or in piles at the site. This action takes artifacts out of their original context, destroying valuable clues needed by archaeologists gathering information about the sites you visit. This also makes it easier for less thoughtful visitors to pocket artifacts. Okay, right here, you got somebody. Don't know who, don't know what that was. Part of it's worn away. Part, they mixed uh, certain kinds of rocks with pigments, and sometimes the pigments have gone away, but the uh, minerals are still there. Now these hands, I'm not gonna touch the wall, but I'm gonna put my hand close to it. So it's a little bit smaller than me. It could be one of the kids. And this is Marmitantes. These are also grindstones here. Is that ancient corn? I don't know. But I have seen notices as you come in to, if you find ancient corn, leave it where it was. And then here are some more handprints. Right there, that is a little wall. Maybe this is the children's quarters. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they were much smaller back then, which is actually probably very true. And then that's the uh, main part of the ruins over there. I tried uh, walking over, and I chickened out, because it uh, gets awful uh, slick over there. There's one spot where it's just mainly a uh, slick rock. Now, if it wasn't a 200 foot drop, I might be willing to try it. But uh, that's, that's more than I want to do. Now I was lucky Dana Hollister let me use some of his video up there. He did get in through the area behind there. A little bit more adventuresome than me. And he was willing to chance it. But in 2015 you could reach the ruins if you went around down through the bottom of the valley and came up on the other side. Well when I came over there in 217... Modern hmm. cave again from the other side. You'd ride all the way up to the edge there, but to climb up, you'd have to go over a loose wall and potential damage there, so I'm not gonna do it. But uh, this is the other side. Nice climb. It's about a mile in. Monarch Cave. That's where I came from, way over there. And this is Comb Ridge, Cedar Mesa, a couple miles uh, west of bluff thank you very much for watching this video please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly and if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button below you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.